Hi everyone, Phil here and today's question comes from Isaac. I have two independent variables, training and compensation, and one dependent variable, performance. My sample size is 100. Training have 29 questions, consist on 5 point scale. Compensation 20 questions, performance 24 questions, please can you help? Right, this is to do with regression and this is a case where your variables consist of sub-variables. And so like with the independent variables and also with the dependent variable, we need to, for each variable, combine them into one. And uh, the standard way to do this is add them, add up the scales. So say with, with training, you have 29 questions on a Likert scale, you would add them up. To illustrate, I've got here train one and train two, say we want the, this is just, we want to turn this into one independent variable, so why not just add them up. If we go to variable view, we can see that I've coded them, each of them, on the Likert scale 1 to 5. In adding them up, Anna notes, when I do that it says, one of the operands for an arithmetic operation is other than a numeric variable or other expression. HELP! Or rather, HELP! So let's see how she got that. We go transform to create the new variable, transform compute variable. And then we go give it a name, let's call it T3, and we add them. Train 1, let's train 2, and OK. Ah, so that's the error message she was talking about. So how did that happen? OK, it happened because under variable view with train 2, can you see that the type here is string, I text that needs to be changed to numeric. Now if we run it again, we'll find now we've created a new variable T3 and it's done it. So 1 plus 2 is 3 and so on. Second thing I want to just point out to you is I've got missing value which I've coded as 99. So when we used when we added them, notice a dot there, why that is a missing value, because that's missing plus one, well overall it's missing isn't it? Why I wanted to point that out to you is because some people instead of using the plus command in compute variable use the sum command. So let's try that, let's give it a new name, let's say t4 and sum command, train one, train two, okay, now what happens? If you use a sum command, look what happens under missing. So whether you use the plus sign or the sum sign, they treat the missing in two different ways. Probably the sum sign, uh, the add sign is better because if you use a sum sign, if you see that one, it's like saying it's one plus nothing. But it's not nothing, it's something we don't know because it's missing. Thanks to Isaac for today's question.